Tuesday, November 24th, day 61. Kindergarten with Mrs. Dalton. Ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight,
100. We can count to 100. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can count to 100. Calendar time. All right. Let's do the days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then you sit right down. Yay! The number of the day. Number of the day. All right. If yesterday was 60, what's today? Hmm. Yesterday was 60. So today is 61. Yay, 61. Let's add another straw. There we go. And let's change our number 60 to the number 61. Good. Okay, how many groups of 10 are in the number 60? How many groups of 10 are in the number 61? Not number 60. How many groups of 10 are in the number 61? There are six groups of 10 in the number 61. How many ones are in the number 61? How many ones? One, there's one one in the number 61. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, Three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-forty, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-forty, fif
54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Sight words. I can. The we see a like to and do. Go, you, Writing time. Let's write what we are grateful for. I am grateful for water. I am grateful for a coat. I am grateful for lots of books at school. What are you grateful for? Daily practice. Pause the video and get out this page for the next activity. Let's get our daily practice out. We're going to do our letter names. Look for the page that has all the letters on it. When I say go, you're going to start saying all the letter names. When I say stop, you're done. Here we go. Ready, set, go. and stop! Count how many letters you could name. How many did you do? Wow! Let's see if tomorrow we can beat that number. Way to go! Pause the video and get out one of these pages for the next activity. Hi guys! All right, we're gonna do the first sound so go ahead and find your book and get out one of the blue papers. It can be any blue paper. And I'm gonna set the timer for one minute. And you're going to look at these and you're gonna tell me the first sound. So monkey, mmm, sill, s, zipper, z, 
fish, <sighs> leap, oh, rocket, er. But you do not have to say the word. You just have to say the sound. So I'd go, hmm, s, z, <sighs> oh, er. If you need help figuring out what that picture is, you can ask someone. And we're going to see how many sounds you can say in one minute. All right. Are you ready? Do you got your blue paper out? Do you got your finger up on there? Ready? Go. Ten more seconds. All right, go ahead and stop. How many sounds were you able to tell me? Could you figure out the sounds that they started with? Good. Awesome. Let's see if tomorrow we can beat that. Good work, friends. Hi friends, we are now going to start our word chunks practice. For the word chunks practice, you will need your binder. In your binder, of course, you will see this part of the beginning that talks about our daily practice. And it talks about the word chunks. It says by December 31st, so by the end of this calendar year, around Christmas time, we need to be able to read six word chunks correctly. And by the end of the whole school year, they need to be able to read 10 word chunks correctly or more. So those are our goals. So to practice for that goal, of course you'll need your binder. In your binder, you will turn not to the letter naming. That will be another part that you'll do. Right after the letter naming, you'll see word chunks. And of course, there's word chunks number one, two, three, four, and five, and six. So just pick a word chunks um, page that you have not uh, done yesterday. So pick one, a new one each day. So what you're going to do is you are going to use a one minute timer. And you will start, you'll make sure that you have your finger under the word. So you will say the sounds, and then you will read the word. So it would look like this. M, I, D, mid, mid, H, A, S, Hus, Hus, K, A, V, Kav, Kav, just like that. You do not have to sound it out. You don't have to do the M, I, D, mid, mid. But if you are quicker and you already can do this faster, or you can look right at it and already know it, then just go ahead and do that. Um, I will show you, we'll do a little practice. I will turn on the one minute timer and I will show you what it looks like. If your student or if you are get stuck on one and it's just really hard and you're not sure, you don't know the sound, just skip it and do the next one. In real reading, we wouldn't skip it. But in this kind of a game that we're doing, if you get to one that you don't know the sound, you can't remember it, skip it and do the next one. Okay, so I will show you what a practice looks like. I'll turn on a one minute timer and then do the best to read whatever ones I can. I will start here and go across the page. Ready, begin. M, I, D, mid, mid. Uh, Hus. Uh, I'm going to skip it. Uh, I'm going to skip it. Er, uh, k, r, 
walk, rock. Walk, walk. B, a, is that a B or a D? Or I'm just going to skip it. L, I, L, vil, g, a, x, gux. L, a, s, loss. N, a, d, nud. Y, a, k, yuck. N -a -l. Now, oh, time for me to stop. I'm right here. So let's go back and see how many did I get all together. And I can go and count and see how many words that I didn't skip. If I skipped it, then I can't count that word. So I'll go back and count all of the ones that I didn't skip. So why are we reading these word chunks? They're not real words. Why are we even reading those? Let's take a look here. If I'm reading this chunk right here, this is t, a, s, tus, tus. I can read that chunk. Maybe another day I read this word. K, a, k, cack, cack. Well, then when I get into harder words like this word right here, cactus, I can read the word cactus because big words are just small chunks put together. So that's why we're reading these word chunks. If you have any questions, ask your teacher and make sure that you have fun. I'll see you next time.